Distinguished guests, family, friends, members of the Maryland Army National Guard, representatives from the state, from MEMA, and the Defense Force, again, thanks for all being here. I'd first like to say thanks to my family. Uh, again, long journey without your support and your time and your love, I wouldn't be here, so thank you for that. To friends in the audience, I haven't really been around very much the past couple of years because I've been pretty busy and it'll probably stay that way, so thank you for being here today. I really do appreciate it. And friends kind of bleed over into a lot of the people standing out here and sitting here today. Some of my best friends are members of the Maryland Military Department in the National Guard, so again, thank you for being here. We've got a tough year ahead. We've got a lot of deployments. We're facing uh, significant budget cuts at the federal and state level, so we've got a lot of work to do. A lot of successes under General Jimenez. You've all done a great job, and we want to keep up that good work and continue to march forward and improve as we go forward. And I must admit, in Chaplain Lee's invocation, he gave me pause when he talked about the precious resource that we all are. We're all husbands and wives and sons and daughters and parents of people, we are precious resource to our families. And so it gave me pause to think as I heard his words about the awesome responsibility it is to be your commander. I take that extremely seriously and will do everything I can to best prepare you for your missions, both federal and state. I know we can do it. We've done great work. We have a great legacy in the Maryland National Guard dating back before the revolution. And we will continue and as General Hemmings has said, we will continue to be the best National Guard in the United States. Thank you, and I look forward to working with you.